Good morning, folks. SDO is missing some solar images today, but we supplement with the Proba 2. The missing images are the little jump you saw. We've got space weather today, a big quake, news from the lab, and as I mentioned yesterday, at the end of today's news, there's a special message about the Disaster Prediction app. But we're beginning today over at spaceweathernews.com. First thing you're going to notice is the pop center disk. We noted this on social media yesterday, and it actually started at the northeastern limb, and as that eruption went up and left, the center disk pop occurred. There was a filament that erupted there, but it is unlikely to have produced a significant CME, as much of it simply expanded into the corona. When we take a look at the corona graphs, we find eruptions leaving the star in multiple areas, but again, lacking a solid halo and anything coming at Earth would be minor. Solar flaring got a little surge yesterday, but it wasn't on the departing spots where development is occurring, but rather the incomers where the northern group appears to be titanic. We're going to have to have eyes open there. Solar wind phi angle shifting set in, but with only a slight speed rise, and there has been a touch of instability in Earth's magnetic shield, but no storm conditions. Yesterday you heard we had another big quake coming before the weekend, and it didn't feel like waiting. Hopefully this is all the pressure release, but alas, the watch remains as another volcano is on alert now in Iceland. Typhoon Lion Rock pounded Japan, killed about a dozen people. They began cleaning up now. But eastwards into the central Pacific, they are just getting ready. Today is the day that that first hurricane is going to get to Hawaii, and it's going to be there all day. We will appear to have about two or three days in between that and the next one. Eyes open there. System in the Gulf of Mexico will head at the panhandle over the next two days while a convergence continues cutting up through the states. Largest soakings in Europe today should occur at the coast of Norway and reaching inland just a bit. Slight showers in the southeast as well. Lion Rock remnants now in northern China as major rain continues across southern Asia and more flooding is expected. Pressure convergence between nations here and readying to move towards New Zealand over the coming day with lighter showers west inland over Australia. Main convergence in the South Atlantic will be leaving South American coastlines today. You can see the system developing at the African west coast as well. Folks, when we hear about earthquake currents or electromagnetism in quakes, how do you visualize that? How does the energy come in, get distributed, redirect it, and which rocks do what with the current? Episode 67, as a continuation of Episode 65, was posted to the Deeper Look section of SuspiciousObservers.org yesterday, Billy's Plasma Lab on Lock. Now folks, let's talk about the Disaster Prediction app. For those who don't know, thousands of you founded this on Kickstarter earlier this year, and this will have our earthquake warnings. If we get broad enough distribution, the mobile devices should even be able to act like pre-quake signal detectors. But it is also our space weather warning function. Solar kill shot, big CME heading for Earth. How do you find out? Do you wait for the morning news? Systems exist to warn electric companies and government agencies, but there is no public info service for major space weather, at least not till this winter. And with it will come the likely health effects like cardiac or CNS event warnings. If you donated enough to get a shirt or a hoodie, they are on their way out to you as long as we've got your address and size. If not, Check your emails, we've been asking for it. We do have some extras of these, but in fairness, they would have to be the same price as they were in the app founding process. It doesn't cost $150 to make the shirt, or $300 for the hoodie, but you're not buying those. You're founding the app, getting your name in the founders list, and you're getting this gear as a gift. Now since the price of founding member gear is at the Kickstarter rate, there is another option. If you go to booster.com s0, you can get the generic version of the shirt very cheaply and it still supports the founding of the app. So this is the people's warning system. If you're supposed to get some gear, make sure you get a hold of Cat if you haven't got it yet. The generic shirts are at booster.com s0, and if you really want to go the founding members route, we only have a few of those ones left, and you should also email me about those. So again, email Cat if you didn't get the gear you were supposed to get. If you still want to get it, email me. And if you want the generic shirt to support the app, that's at booster.com s0. It's also linked below. It is 4 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.